Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. 2018 Chevrolet Suburban leak in the coolant system. All right, considering that I gotta climb up and down, which I'm not about to do for, for anybody, not even you guys, I'm gonna have to get, uh, get down to it. So the air intake sits up here, hose clamp, hose clamp, and these two snap fittings here on the sides for the heads, or connected to the heads, I should say. We got us a little bypass hose over here. I'm gonna tuck that off to the side. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I. I'm gonna have to remove the fans, the radiator fans. Hoping I can get to that. These should be like an eight or a ten. I think a ten. yesterday evening and I could have sworn there's a crack in the outlet down there but now I'm second guessing myself and I'm not going to sell the customer something he doesn't need so I feel bad about that to having having held him over but it is what it is. Well. They build it taller and taller and taller. Makes it harder and harder for us to do anything with it. So now that we have access to the radiator, I might be able to better assess what exactly is happening with the radiator. So Ladies and gentlemen, so all right, so unfortunately, uh, yeah, <laughs> don't know what to tell you guys, it's coming. It all right, I'm gonna unmount you. Whoa. Camera, don't bail off of there. Okay, so first things first. So here is the, let me flip this screen. So here's the slide clip. The clip slides out sideways rather than toward the bottom like this. So you got two of these connectors and of course you got all these hoses. Uh, that one these two here for the power steering uh, for the transmission cooler um, and then the leak is the leak is down there so but i don't know i had to remove all that in order to find it so let me pressurize that hopefully the camera can pick it up so you see there's no way there's no way the hose clamp is leaking there's no way way that is the hose clamp 
I, I'm not I'm not seeing that. You know, I thought a while ago, oh my God, I told them people they need a radiator and they need a friggin' hose clamp tightened up, but I retracted my own statement just now because that's not, there's no way that's a hose clamp. And I've never seen a hose clamp uh, would blow out like that, you know, being loose. So I'll get you, get you in that area. I figured we can push on that and maybe see something. And no, I'm not trying to break anything. And still, the answer is no. I'll have to undo everything. I can't. I can't see it. It's this simple. I can't see it. You know, if you can't see it, you have to undo it. That is part of it. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play around and play guessing games. is odd, odd to say the least. that screen around. Once again, I don't know what you're seeing and what you're not seeing. That thing is stuck. I'll be damned. One side rusted, the other one is not. There's only a, it was only holding on one side. <laughs> Maybe it is the hose. These are boat rusted. Hmm. Right, let's pressure test this puppy. Find a clamp here. There's that clamp. right in the way. I'm going to create a leak here in just a second. Oh, 
because there's clearly some more antifreeze in it. <laughs> Could be happy. Well, poop. Well, good for the customer. <sighs> Don't have to take it loose again, though, because I just realized that clamp is right in the wrong place. That's awesome. Oh, man. Yeah, that's one of them things there, guys. There's, there's no way, uh, no way for me to, to see this. I mean, I would have, I, I couldn't got to it with the shroud and everything in the way, uh, the, the fan and the shroud, you know, there's just no way for me to see it. So the, there's nothing, nothing that I did here was unnecessary in my opinion, you know. Ah, I locked the clamp in. I'm not going to nail it with that much pressure this time. I mean, clearly that thing was leaking. All right. <sighs> In case you're wondering, I had uh, 12 PSI on it and it started leaking at 2. I guess I'll go ahead and do it. 12 PSI, that's where that thing is set. So the valve is closed, so no more air, compressed air going in it. Get this thing put back together. for the customer. And by the way, when you're in the slides, you'll know about it. Obviously that thing's got a couple of little slides on the bottom that it sits in and 
it will slide back and forth a little bit, but if the bottom kicks out, you're not in it. That's a booger to get to why they put the bolts right next to the lines. Idiotic. Engineers just don't think about this crap when they do that. As they say, we're not here to help the mechanic, though, right? Snap that back in. Clip this back in. Oh, wow. That's a Michigan Suburban, by the way. That is the reason why this clamp is gone. I'm fairly certain of it. Plug the plug back in, slide the slide. Put the little Christmas tree back in, clip the lower radiator on here, uh, both places, there one and two. <sighs> Remember plastic and sheet metal. As a quick reminder, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what it is about people not wanting to <coughs> tighten the hose clamps up on the, on the intakes. I don't know what it is with that, but this one here came in and the same thing, uh, hose clamp loose. I don't get it. this back in, clip this back in, if you can get it in, that's back in, put it in place, eight mil, Clip the little hose back in. And for the most part, this was a bust. But no matter what, I'm gonna post a video. This is just an example of what can happen. And if you were to see right now, right here with the shroud and everything attached to it, you'd be able to know that uh, it would have been almost impossible to say this is a hose, you know, if I'd have put, uh, put a hose on there or whatever, uh, it had to be taken apart. And that's, that's just all there's to it. I mean, there is no more. It had to be taken apart. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna end the, end the video right here. This, is put, this has been put back together. Uh, a lot of times what I do uh, on the hood, the, I'm sure you, now nah, you wouldn't have noticed it. I undo the clamps and put my hood prop on it because these hoods, they're like, like right in here. Uh, easy to, to hit your head and everything. This is much easier to, uh, uh, Get, uh, get stuff in and out and work on the vehicle if you undo your little spring assemblies. So anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. Like, subscribe, and we see you in the next one. And by the way, just remember, ladies and gentlemen, it takes a big man to, make, uh, to admit when he makes a mistake. You know, mistakes are being made regardless of what the YouTube community uh, uh, generally wants to, wants to tell you. Uh, everybody makes mistakes, I don't care who they are. So that was a mistake on our part, and uh, well, it is what it is. We'll see you on the next one.